Hello. Today I'll be talking about movie review number 63. And this movie is called Made in Italy. This is a 2020 film directed by James D. Archie and his featured directorial debut that stars actors like Ryan Nelson and several others that I cannot name, unfortunately. So, I saw this on August 18th, 2020 at the Marymount Theater in Marymount, Ohio. I absolutely loved it. 9.8 out of 10, I'm going to say. So, this is a drama about a father and son going back to their old Tucson home in Italy. And the son plans to sell it so that he has enough money to buy a gallery that he's going to lose to his ex-wife. So, this, he, the son and his father are trying to make the house student, trying to look for a bio in the house. And, they, and both of them realize eventually that they don't want that they may not want to sell the house because it contains memories of the son's mom who is also the who was also the father who was also the husband I mean who was also the wife of the husband and it talks about how the how the grief for the Wait, mother's rash wife. That deeply affects both of them with the house. And I absolutely loved it. Well, A, because I like how the grievances are bringing the fallen son closer to the devil than ever before. And how they both realize that the the home in Tucson, Italy is more important than they realize. Um, another thing was that I like seeing the Italy landscaping, the Italy atmosphere. It makes me want to go to Italy now. I'm serious. I want to go to Italy. And another thing is the Italian food they have. I know there are Italian restaurants in the United States, but I want to go to Italy to have Italian food in Italy. That would be awesome. That's I hear is rich, good, and fantastic. Although I love Italian food in the U.S. as well, but one of my goals is to go to Italy to try some Italian food, like biscotti and meatballs. Oh, that would be awesome. But yeah, I really like seeing this film. It definitely brings the fallen son closer to the devil. And along, and they meet some new friends along the way. And I like how both of them don't I mean at first you can see how they may want to sell the house. But as we get later on in the movie, there are reasons why they may train, why they might, why they are thinking on not selling the house. Without any spoilers or anything, there was this one scene in the film where Brian Nelson's character is talking nonsense to a couple who wants to buy the house. And without giving away too much, I will say it's because Brian Nelson's character has a stream value of the house and the value and nature and atmosphere of the house is n nothing like the like the couple's view on, on the couple's view on the house. I mean I was glad Liam Nelson said something in the film. I mean if you looked at the house in the film Yes, they need to change things because it has not been like remodeled since 20 years, I believe. But yeah, it, the house means more than just a home. And yeah, I really, really like that. So go check this out, guys. 
it is really, really good. Now, before I go, well, first of all, I'll say my next movie review will be about uh, what was it? Oh, The Invisible Man. But first of all, I want to say this is my 200th video. 200 videos. Wow, that is a cool milestone. And I appreciate the new subscribers and the amount of views. Uh, so far, I'm looking at 20 sub subscribers and over 24,000 views. Thank you, everybody. That means a whole lot to me. You guys are awesome. And I hope to make more videos in the future. So, a little update on that. But yeah, thank you guys. Um, and I will see you next time when I talk about the Invisible Man. Cool, right? Goodbye.